Arc Zero will now need to make some small changes because they won't have that intel at their disposal. All as I was saying this, by the way, LG getting a very good look at the bomb site as they are effectively in it in the first 45 <laughs> seconds of the round. DZ have but a single uh, player to hold against the tides, and that's NJR. Just not far removed from the bomb chassis, prone on the ground with an ACOG in hand. That's awkward. Like, they rushed Trophy. They didn't rush the bomb site. They rushed room next to it. Now they're stalling out. DC, again, they understand the mission. They're playing four people vertically, one person on the side, and that single person has killed the glass. That's the win con. That's what the entire strat was built around, the smokes to enable the glass, to get some kills, to get a plant. Now they gotta pivot. They gotta go out and figure it out, but they don't. NGR finds a second kill in this round. He is locking down the side, being an anchor player. Actually quite impressive that Dark Zero is pulling this off without a warden on the board, and I mean, I think yep. that... Kind of goes into the fact that Luminosity took advantage of that. See that there's nobody to really counter you. There's no bulletproof cams. If there's no evil eye cams that you need to worry about, then sure, run your smokes. But there are two bulletproof cams on the side of Dark Zero, and maybe those are partially responsible for the drubbing that DZ is giving Luminosity, at least to start this round. The round will be over within the minute, but Luminosity's got some kills to find if they want to come out on the right side of it. Silent and Wi-Fi are the only remaining players from LG. Wi-Fi will walk that diffuser, and there's been plenty of time to get the case down. I don't know if they're just worried about intel or what. Oh. There's a long angle from Nafe to eliminate Wi-Fi diffuser picked up by Silent, but there's almost no chance that a flashing red HP Ash is going to be able to get that diffuser down without somebody from DZ seeing it. Nafe spots the last two players from LG, and he gives DZ a much-needed win. So small things like that, can play a factor into the mentality of like how teams they will play defense because they have certain fears. I like the cap gun again, sitting up for those passive rushes. Canadian playing a basement. And he said, Oh, <laughs> um, the solo as you said wasn't the most successful, I would have to agree. But LG want those prep phase drones to be guaranteed going into the building or at the very least stay alive for longer. And the solo span ensures that Canadian plays the kite instead, he dies early on through the Maverick hole and. Dark Seer will play a 4v5 this round. I mean, if they clear NGR, they can plant. Like, default, just jump in the big windows. That's the big thing again. The, the anchor play from NGR saved DC last time. It has to save them now as well. The other player positions are not very strong to help him. So it really comes down to what can LG do here. Flash is going in. Tackle NJR. Vault in. Why not? Eddie looking for that pick, but... This is stuck. NJR still there. There's no follow-up from LG onto the feet. Kick throw, jumps into the fray. Down goes NJR, and Eddie will have a safe plant as Bolo walks in, kills Eddie. Diffuser does actually not go down. It was so, so oh. close. But Luminosity's guns will find their marks as DZ looks for a retake. Nave three kills, zero deaths. Make that three kills, one death. Hat finishing that round, tying things up one to one. A lot of IGLs and, and, you know, leaders, they will play, you know, the anchor position defense, playing on the bomb side. They'll play a hard return attack, droning the entire round. Canadian likes to play in the battle, you know, roaming with poles, Valkyrie, Solas, whatever. And if he dies early, he can still have a lot of impact in the round by having full overview, watching all the cameras, all the other four player perspectives and making the calls happen there. So when people, they look at this host and go, why is Nafe not playing this operator? Why is Indiana not playing this operator? Why is Troy playing these fun operators? That's often why, at least last time I spoke to Troy, that was the case. And I, I'm not sure if this is this is public knowledge, but eh, I don't really care. I talked to <laughs> Troy shortly before SI, and one of the reasons why Nafe was picked up was so that they could both call different parts of the match. Mm. Nafe was, as far as I can remember, was the defense IGL, and Canadian would be calling most of the time on attack. Maybe that's okay. swapped. Maybe it's changed, I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, a big part of why you brought a player like Nafe over is because he can give you that vantage point that Troy doesn't have on his own. Wi-Fi dies and Kicks Row is gonna sprint into action. He sees the Maestro, flashed out, NJR dies, and now Kicks Row over towards Connector as LG have found two very fast kills. Dark Zero just continues to reduce those numbers. Just distill them down until Kicks Row's last in the bomb site. Diffuser within arm's reach, but that's not the focus for Kicks Row at this point. The focus, determine where these last players are, 
before you go about the objective or getting kills because the problem is what a shot oh. by Kicks Row that you don't think you can plant until you have that information. LG struggled in the first round. Now DZ will scramble as they are desperate to get a line of sight onto the ace. He's got the sidearm out. Why the sidearm? Why not just reload? There's a go out from above. Nafe dies. Kickstart might be able to pull this off, right? Nadian walking over, but the old oh. man can still shoot. You look up the lineup from Dark Zero. There's plenty Ooh. that you can grab with that Kludge drone. You just got to make sure the, club dr the Kludge drone actually survives. Kixro still has one remaining and will go on to it to try to gain some more intel, but just managed to get away at the feet of NJR, who's now taking some serious damage. Multiple players from DZ looking at Wi-Fi outside, oh. and it'll be Pamzu to go for the jump out as Troy Canadian had grabbed his attention over by Library. Smokes and fire will go as Silent seeks an opening against Dark Zero. He manages to avoid the flames for the time being, but LG only have two drones remaining. Even with the Solus ban, that mute of Bolo providing so much value to DZ, denying LG tons of information. A nice wow. read by Silent, but Naif just outduels him in that regard. Six Row and Eddie is the last two for LG. Everybody from DZ still alive. Damn. They tried to hit the sides last time, they got shot down. Now they're trying to go for the room clear up above, they got shot down again. And then Discipline, DC, locked and loaded. Nave is baiting for Bolo, who's close left of this wall. The second, the, yep, there it is, oh, Bolo just swings. Triple man crossfire. Full discipline, full control for Dark Zero. Amazu needs to be retrieved, he's bleeding out. Very few flawless rounds so far in today's set of matches, but DZ are poised for one and they'll get Ouch. it. Ambazoo, whether he was picked up or whether he just simply survived based on the timer, DZ out to an early lead. This round has been relatively slow, but in a good way. It's the kind of slow round where you're progressing as an attacker, defenders are responding, you know, killing drones, falling back, killing drones, falling back, and everyone, like both teams, are kind of getting what they want out of this. DZ are playing utility, right? They got the kite claw, the runicates, etc. They're trying to stall for time. But LG all saying, we are okay with that. We have Capitao, Twitch, Flores, and Bravo. They have a lot of drone intensive operators. They're happy to play a slow round. They have a minute and 20 seconds. They're in library. Got a good yellow ping wheat there. Does a bit of damage onto NGR, but they need to deal with the kite claws. This is where Bravo and Twitch comes into play. But as far as I can tell, they don't have either of those drones available. So Eddie on the Flores might need to be the hero now. If they don't get the kite claws, the Hedges library will not get opened up. LG gets a kill instead. That's also good, but Kick Server is just inside the bomb site. It's been something that LG's had no problem with so far, Nick, is getting into the site, but what they yep. do with it is the greater problem, and Kick has been spotted out. He's losing the rest of his team. There's a team kill, in fact. Oh, it's the last one standing. Near sighted and running desperately towards the Aruni, but it's NJR to finish it, and I don't know if that was frustration from Silent or not, but. DZ right now in the driver's seat of our final match of the day. Did that manage to ice the wall? Oh yeah, it does. It goes through the walls, baby, through the floor. So they can basically kite claw the bottom, they can they can like canister the top, and they can actively trick the wall by freezing it, if that's what they're gonna do they're for. The kite claws and the top, so, so is the canisters, it doesn't work in this case. It's a trade upstairs, injure for a kill harbor. Well, as we see Kicks Row being picked back up. We do indeed get a listening into the action. Blue tag, blue tag. There's a big on me. Fine, fine, fine. I got you. Okay. One dead. Blue dead, blue dead. 50. I'm on blue flank. 75. Calm down. He's in dining. 20 HP, 20 HP dining. Let me get my friend. He dropped, he dropped, he dropped. That's where? Yeah, I'm playing post. Drop dining, drop dining, drop dining. I'm playing post outside. Play post, play post. 1 HP, 1 HP. Let me kill him, let me kill him. Nice. nice, nice, good job, good guys, job. good job. The thing is, if you know Dark Seer, you know their their defenses are pretty good usually. The big question mark is how they're gonna do an attack. When they put Earth today on Skyscraper, it was not necessarily a pretty look when they're on the attack inside of things. And Chalet is very different than most of the maps. And it's one of those, okay, 
it has actually been a tanker favorite for a very long time, only going back, you know, six to eight months, for example. This is a map where if you're good at attacking, you can win a lot of rounds, but DC, they've been very slow. In this opening attacking round, they're also relatively slow. They rappel in, they don't drone hat somehow, they have no idea that he's on the staircase. That's the first point of contact. <laughs> JR wins the duel, though it is just based off of his own abilities. He's got the read on one in closet as well. He's okay, okay. slaughtering five rounds. They are storming their way towards a victory over what might be a tired LG team from their matchup earlier today. Most players are going to be happy that they did well, but at the end of the day, mm. the goal is for your team to win. So Kicks Row going eight and five, sure, that'll be a point of pride for him, but if it results in Luminosity getting beaten quite handily, then yeah. do you really have much to be proud of? In this particular round, Hicks Row eliminates Canadian. I'm not sure what the Grim was doing. It just looks like it was a regular interaction over by Trench Door as the Fenrir oh. of Kicks Row is buried down in blue. NJR's not expecting another. Good news, he's got backup, and Eddie is isolated by Nafe as both players from DZ work together to give DZ that numbers advantage. You need mm. a big round from Hat now. As both Eddie and Kicks Row are gone, Eddie has been relatively ineffective so far in both utility and in killing. So maybe not all hope is lost so far for Luminosity. A rough game for Eddie, but we've seen Eddie play before at this level. We know that he is capable of more than just a single kill. Final moment of action, Dark Zero holding the advantage, though they have taken their lumps. NJR and Nafe hurt. Nafe in particular badly hurt. Full utility for the Capitao. Most damning I prospect here, though, is that it's Nafe holding on to that case. It might be a moot point if DZ just kills everybody as Wi-Fi dies, and it's Silent and Hat as the last two players from LG. It's dangerous. The heal of that library of Pelican gonna pivot and go somewhere else instead, I suppose. Window jump in. Risky. It's that vault prompt. It's not pretty. Fire goes out. That might play in a factor, but no. Hat stays alive. He finds that perfect pixel spot. He's, or so he thought. Or so he thought. Able to dodge the fire, but you can't dodge the bullets. NJR and Pambazoo, sensational when working together. Look at that. The energy level of Pambazoo. The enthusiasm, the eagerness. Look <laughs> at that energy level. He is bringing the vibes to his team. DZ won it in overtime. They lost in overtime as well, so DZ has some points, but... The success they had at SI and with the history behind not just this roster, but also this organization, you have to imagine that they are well below their own expectations. And I'm not really certain what Luminosity was thinking there. But Wi-Fi and Eddie are dead. Kicks Row is gone. There's a Nitro Cell from Hat tossed well. It's now Silent antagonized on these trophy stairs. Hat will join him for backup and another Nitro Cell will be pulled out of the pockets of Luminosity. Will it have the same level of success as the first? No. Hat, the only one sitting inside of the bomb site, to defend against DZ. It's smart. DZ have two players logging down one, and they can isolate Hat and step on the side, but he finds the no, not an injury. It's a drop shot, actually. He goes down. Just leaving Silent at 1v4. Silent might as well be playing another map at this point because he's lost control of the bomb site and lost control of his life. That was a quick one. Dark Zero giving us one of our fastest days in the NAL so far this stage. And they pick up three desperately needed points. If you want to hang with the big dogs, you got to beat the big dogs. And while LG might not be that, DZ in eighth place to start this match will vault all the way up to fifth.